think is just the, the, the immense uh, joy of being surrounded by them. I mean, the closeness that you get from the animal, and I think is a new perception towards the animals. And all of a sudden you realize that actually they do have, in fact, personalities and, and a way to approach you different one shark from the other. The, the tonic immobility as has been defined is a scientific proved natural behavior of the animal and is usually a reaction of the uh, sharks under a stress or a threat or in the typical what they call the upside down body positioning so you can grab the tail of a little silky twist the tail like it's a forceful behavior though. So when I hear tonic, you, they say you do tonic immobility, yes the, the shark goes into tonic but I, I try to explain to people is like there's nothing forceful nor of threat or stress and you, you're, you're my witness to that into the sharks like the shark that kept following me to keep getting pet I mean I would just leave in my hand and say stay and she kept coming um, so it is I think a natural behavior meaning they do that in nature otherwise it's not that it could do something that doesn't exist in their nature um, what I just do, I think I stimulate that through the high sensory area of, the, of your face where the ample line of lower, of lower and senior. So it's tonic, but it's not the high stress threat induced tonic that you would witness in the water. facilitate mating for example when the um, if you look at the mating of sharks from a human perception because that's our mistake we always put kind of like an anthropomorphic interpretation of what the animals do vicious or it's cruel it's you know violent but animals are animals so the, the male sharks will grab the female by the sides the pectoral fins leaving some impressive scars on, on these girls and, and force her into, into, into copulation and the female decides the copulation based on the strength of the male so this is kind of like a ritual it looks like she, he's forcing her but she's actually deciding if he's strong enough to force her to agree on the entire situation um, so I think once that happens the tonic facilitates maybe the entire uh, moment It's the overwhelming because you constantly have to be switched on and it's also the, the basically the, the, the top is the adrenaline and then when it starts finally uh, going down I think is also the realization is like wow did I just do that? <laughs> Was I just that able to pat and feel and be and be surrounded with the sharks. I think it's just both, you know, like you're going up in that and then you're coming down and finally it hits home, which you've just been privileged enough to experience because it's a privilege. <laughs>